Still can't believe you almost shit yourself. I bet you put like the title is like. Well, yeah, then they travel two different. hours down there. Like, <laughs> what did you eat for breakfast? I don't eat. I'm fasting. You don't eat. So yeah. how, how do you need to? Like, I do one meal a day and I have my meal really late. So what was that meal? <laughs> Grease. Piri piri chicken. I think. Ask him about round one. <laughs> <laughs> Pain. So you ate peri peri chicken last night, and now you're paying the price for having to rush into locals. Like, please yeah. open the door. That's I need what, to go to I the miss, toilet. That's why I missed playing. I just had a really bad stomach today. Yeah, well, whatever, it, like, whatever excuse yeah. you need. Yeah. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We got Billy on the channel doing a deck profile, trying to make himself feel a bit better. Yeah, it's been a very rough day. <laughs> very rough day. Seems like a really cool deck, which is why I brought it on. Uh, it was normally going to be Eldritch, but you've opted not to play Eldritch instead. Yeah, I decided to try and um, get some more brain cells. <laughs> to get some more brain cells yeah. by definitely, misplaying. De yeah, definitely didn't work out today, did it? Yeah, there's definitely a match you guys should watch. It's uh, no, pretty, no. pretty horrific. No. It, it shows you how not to play the deck, but the deck itself seems really cool, so I thought I'd get it on. Uh, any comments before we get started? Uh, no, like, to be honest, like, I just came here, I put it together like last night with uh, Neo and some other uh, some other guys, uh, just to sort of see what it would do. Like, it didn't do well last week playing it, but I was like, maybe it's just a bad day. Yeah. But it, the deck's fine, I'm not. So that's, <laughs> Maybe that's the key yeah, difference there. That's the difference. Okay, the cool. All right, we'll get stuck into it in just a moment, guys. If you're looking to pick up any Yu-Gi-Oh! singles, check out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. There's a code in the description, Rufio15. Use it on their eBay store, get a nice 15% discount on your eBay order. Right, take us away when you're ready. Cool, so to start off with, um, we play free Cybus gadget. Um, basically, all of the gadgets in this deck all do the same thing. They all um, do the Cyclock uh, with DPE. Yep. Um, it used to be really bad, but when Brave came out, it got a lot better. Yep. Uh, 100%. Um, so, same thing with these and Dot Scapers. And then one side. Yep. Because this card's fun. Right, Jerry? <laughs> Uh, we have uh, the Brave Engine, uh, we have the three Aquamancer, and then obviously one Griffin, uh, two Fateful. Um, I've always been iffy on playing like two. I hate seeing this card in my hand in this deck. Yeah. It's not the worst thing, but uh, you can definitely play it at one. I think uh, usually because this deck plays uh, Eldritch, um, if you're playing the Eldritch stuff, take this out, but because you're not playing the Eldritch uh, in this variant, I think maybe two is a lot better. Like an insurance policy sort of thing. Kind of. It's more just this deck has not really any grind game. Yeah. So getting as much advantage as possible really does help out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Rite of Aramisius, um, the Draco back, and then the Fordish. Uh, Fordish is quite useful, uh, especially for the... Uh, Dotscaper, you can send the Dotscaper as well when it specials itself in Grave. So you got like a bunch of targets because you obviously got that. The you got the Dotscaper, you got the Aqua, yeah. Aqua, whatever a fucking name is that thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then obviously normally if you'd play the Eldritch version, of course you'd have Eldritch, but yep. uh, not not in this case. I mean, it's nice because uh, just having the extra extenders um, really does sort of help out a lot. Yeah. Because. Do you really think your normal summon combo is going off? It's definitely getting the beer. Yeah, probably. Uh, so we played the Souls engine. So two uh, prep. Yep. Two vision and the two souls. Yeah. And for the people who don't understand why you play the prep, do you want to explain that? Well, it's more just like activate this, get this, get this extender. Yeah. yeah. And also, obviously, the prep doubles up as discard fodder for the souls as well. Yeah. If, um, you, if you see it, it's slightly better. To be honest, um, like, if you open these in your hand, it's fine. If you open this, it's fine because you can discard this anyway. And you can, obviously, this is going to, you're going to put back in the deck. And yeah, you yeah, get this. yeah. So it's fine, but this isn't great. Yeah. No, that does happen, though. Yeah, it does happen. 
Uh, so the hand traps and stuff. One Four in, million uh, of them. Yeah, so there's a lot of hand traps in this variant. Uh, the theory is you just cut the Eldritch stuff and fill it up with a lot of uh, a lot more hand traps at least. Don't let your opponent play the game. Uh, so one in Perm, uh, it's mainly for, we do play cross out in this because we have the space. Yeah. Um, I wanted to play more, but I don't really think it's doing much at the moment. Yeah. It's just there in case because one in Perm can ruin your um, combo. Uh, let me play the bell. Uh, this is quite uh, good right now, especially the uh, DP and everything else. And everything else. Yeah. Despair as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Nugget. Nugget. Yeah. Why not? It's good. Toon collector. Really good if you summon it from the grave, right? <sighs> well, <all> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so this card's good. Um, it used to be a lot better, I think, in the Eldritch variant because you have the Eldritch engine to grind, so you can slow your opponent down a lot. In this, it's not amazing because if you open a normal summon. You want to do your combo, but you can't because um, this stops obviously tokens from being special, so you have to link this off. Yeah. Anyway, so you have to just go straight usually into Verte or if you like normal summon, maybe like a tune, you can go for Hulk. Yeah. Uh, Valor. Valor is. Um, Valor is Valor, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's like another target for Celine combo. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Draw. Ash. And. Okay, so just literally every hand trap you can think of. Throw All it. of the hand traps. Throw it in. Yeah. We're talking about Tome Collector. Oh, are you now? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, don't judge me. Did you know it's someone's from Grave? I did. Apparently Billy did. <laughs> yeah, you can find that. Link in the description for the video. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get so roasted. Oh, yeah, so two, because why not? Yeah. Um, and obviously these. Yeah. Uh, what's nice with the combo as well, if you open these, you can just literally put them back into the deck. Yep. Um, so then just for like generic spells, um, obviously called by, called by is fun. Cross out. Yep. And droplet. Yep. Um, this is a lot better than Imperm I'm finding right now. Yeah. Especially as well, like if you have the Draco back up, it's literally just an Imperm. Thank you. Because you just re the Draco back. Yeah. So that's fun. It's pretty good. Yeah. So that's the main deck? Yeah. Oh, big old 60 cards. Big pile. Big pile. So, not side, extra. So, for the combo, you play one disciple and two devotee. And anyone who doesn't know the combo, can you just brief us on that quick? Sure. So, any of the cybers. Billy doesn't know it either. Oh, <laughs> well, he, either, either he cheated against me, <laughs> or he's going to show us correctly first time. I'm getting violated today, All right? So any normal summons, I right, go away. I'm trying to do a profile, man. Uh, so any normal summon cybers is the whole combo. So yeah, dot step is the best one, yeah. though. Um, yeah, it's good because you can send it off of the foolish. I think um, well, it doesn't also play into token collector because the you don't know how to play token collector, though. So don't worry. About oh that. my god. Forget about it. Cool. <laughs> they, all, they all do the same thing. Cybus um, Eldritch is probably my favourite because it has a normal summon effect where it can special back yeah. level 2 or lower. And yeah. It does come up. Uh, so anything, you link it off into uh, the Disciple and then they all have the effect to bring themselves back or a token. You link it back off into a uh, Devotee. This yeah. has a mandatory effect, um, so you can't link climb. Uh, you're stuck with link 2s or lower for the rest of the turn. This effect tributes for cost. Um, so you basically draw a card, you do ferrite, you draw one, put one back. So this is really nice if you draw any of those garnets that you open, because yeah. you always open garnets. Um, then the effect of the uh, Devotee Engraves, if it's um, tributed from being co-linked, uh, yeah, and then it specials two tokens. So you link one token off and the uh, Disciple into the Dagda, and then you link off the other token into this, obviously it's a mandatory effect. Um, then you trigger this, yep. the side set. Then you link those two off into Verte. And then you do DP. And then side they Nibiru you, you go, that's cool. Uh, you link off your token and then you make second Verte. Whee! Whee! Yeah. It's very funny. Sure. Uh, so that's the basic combo, obviously, and then DPE. Yep. Um, and so I was playing a really chanky thing today. Uh, I decided to try and be really smart, but it didn't really work out, so <laughs> it clearly didn't work out, did it? <laughs> right. So, um, we're playing Reapers. Um, yeah. This came up for the wrong reason today. I made Dark uh, special Albaz, and yeah. then used Albaz, and their extra just made this. Yeah, so, so it came up yeah, completely it, unplanned. Com but. Completely unplanned, and then obviously this is for print kids. Yeah. And then the rest of your stuff should be able to just, you know, play through like the TK anyway. Yeah. Um, Link Spider. 
And then, like I said, we have the Charmers, we have the Dark, uh, and the Light one. These are really good. Yeah. Like, very easy not to play them. And then, obviously, for the access, we've got these. Yeah. So, not bad. Like, the problem I have with the extra deck, obviously, I use those two flex spots to play these. Um, definitely don't do this. This is the worst idea I've ever had. Yeah. Um, and you can tell because I obviously did really bad today. <laughs> um, so, you could play IP and a unicorn, which isn't terrible. It's yeah. another link free that gets you to access anyway, but also you can end. If your combo goes a bit weird, you can also end on like an IP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you, you can just play any anything that's you know you think it's going to be good in the matter. Yeah, those flex spots. Um, and then yeah, so we'll get the worst part of the side deck out of the way. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Seemed it's... like a good idea at the time. Yeah, it wasn't good. I mean, it it came up as well against the uh, branded player because they had no Murray Jades for the rest of the game. <laughs> that's fun. Uh, you play one Lancia in the side. I was debating putting one in the main in case you know you go up against Flu, but I think you'd just rather just put it in the side. Yep. Uh, Feather Duster. Uh, okay. Yeah, this, this nobody really respects nice. this card. Yep, You're very right. Uh, and then for back row, I was playing Lightning Storm, I switched it to Twin today, never saw it, I mean, you never really do see anything in 60 cards. No. Um, and then, going first, this card's insane. Yep. Insane. It's basically in beer and order. Well, like, in my game before, uh, our game that we just had, um, basically, uh, I went DP, end phase, well, I had the whole combo, DP, I played around the super poly, and then draw phase, activated this. Um, and then like he just put his whole hand on the table and all he had was like droplets, monster negation and like just spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you go standby and then you just do DP effect with no fear of anything. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. just siphon up them that way. So it's yeah. really good. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. Really appreciate it. Yeah, no uh, anything you would change about the deck? Just put it. Put Eldritch back in. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about putting Eldritch back in. I'm thinking of just dropping the deck to be honest. I'm really bad at this game and I play it as you'll see. Um, I just don't know what I'm doing. So I'm sort of in limbo at the moment with what I'm going to be playing. I might play Sword, so... It's a weird time in the yeah. format, though, isn't it? Like, like Scythe's in and out at the moment. I'm not seeing a lot of people playing it. And yeah. it. So, I don't know. Um, if, if you are going to play it, I think you'd maybe put Eldritch back in. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So Cyburst Eldritch rather than... Just the... Hand trap Eldritch. Hand trap Eldritch. Yeah. <laughs> hand trap Cyburst, sorry. Yeah, Eldritch. Literally. Okay, fair enough. Uh, any shout before we go? Uh, shout to yourself. Thanks for having me on the channel. Thank you. You know it's... Uh, content at my expense I guess yeah 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 that's it yeah. definitely um, shout out to Jam Jam Cards UK obviously they have uh, sorted me out with a lot of shiny cardboard a lot, a lot of, of shiny, shiny cardboard. cardboard yep student loan <laughs> student loan all good stuff yeah shout out to all the all the mates uh, yeah, Adam Black uh, Lewis Neo all them lot all the boys all the boys all the all boys. boys yeah no, it's good times you guys fun <laughs> fun indeed yeah. alright well thanks again for taking time to the profile I really so appreciate it good. guys if you haven't already you should most definitely hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one